evening, viewers, and welcome to the first episode of Hotspot for the year 2015. Now, we'll be counting down the days to the biggest sporting event in the region, the Pacific Games. But for tonight's show, we'll take a look at major sporting highlights of the year 2014, and we'll head straight into our first highlights of tonight, and that will be the Port Mosby Softball League Grand Final. Thing is, B grade softball team had struggled initially against a highly experienced Yokomoto, who had several good players, and fought hard early to stay in the competition. It went down to sheer tenacity at the end of it. <laughs> Yokomo with the big hits and Stingers had to resort to stealing bases. Stingers had been in control throughout most of the season, but Yokomo were not going to give them an easy ride this time around. At one stage, Yokomo were riding on the momentum of earlier runs, and the Stingers girls at times looking for someone to blame. But it was to be their day, the temptation of holding a grand final trophy, the real aspiration. And while the younger members of her team may have felt they would crack, it was up to experience to carry them home. Stingers captain Vanessa Mullas coming home in the end and sealing the narrow 17-16 victory. We had interviewed Vanessa after their semi-final win and she was confident in how her girls would perform. The A-grade division was even tighter as the Stingers team now took on a gazelle side boosted by the support of the vocal crowd. The grand final went down to the wire with the Stingers only a short victory towards the end of the seventh innings. Stingers eventually proving themselves worthy with a gritty five home runs to three victory to complete the double of both the A and B grade grand finals. A well-composed Yokomo outfit opened the match by securing their first innings, but a fired-up United Brothers tied up the game 1-0 after the second innings. By the sixth innings, Yokomo led 4-3. A vocalized crowd couldn't stop a determined United Brothers team to take out the match 5-4 at the end of the day. And we wish the softball fraternity here in Port Mosby the best in their preparations for another season. We'll head out for our first break on the other side. We'll have more on Hotspot. We'll be counting down the days to the biggest sporting event in history here in the nation's capital, the Pacific Games. But we'll be reliving some of... Uh, but we'll take a look at some of the major sporting highlights of the year 2014. And we'll pick... Okay. Three, two... Let's just get back. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of Hotspot for the year 2015. Now, the biggest sporting... Welcome back, you're watching Hotspot. We now take a look at all the highlights of the athletes that we profiled in the year 2014. Hey, um, my name is Ben Tirong, I'm 17 years of age. Uh, I come from East New Britain province, uh, but I, I'm based in Mount Hagen. Started through the Coca Cola talent pathway back in 2010. I uh, worked my way through the schoolboys program up, uh, represented the country for the first time in the under 40s back in 2010. 
Uh, from there, I went on doing my grade nine and 10 up in Mount Hagen Park Secondary. So from there, I, uh, after graduating at grade 10, I got picked up by the AFL Academy program in 2011. So in 2012, I moved up to De La Salle Secondary down in Formosby to do my grade 11. And then I went on doing my grade 12 at Jubilee Catholic Secondary. So um, I've been playing footy for the past four years now. So after graduating from Jubilee last year, I got picked up again by a scholarship down in Australia. Yeah. Um, I think the first interest would be representing your country, which is uh, somewhat uh, it's kind of an honor, you know, at the younger age, representing your country at state level in Queensland. And uh, the other stuff that it went on learning during footy is discipline. You know, both on and off the field where footy you know, teaches you. The other thing is respect for other players. You know, footy just don't cover, you know, one race of people. We have people, indigenous people playing here, people from all over the world coming to play. So, you know, respect for other races and culture and stuff. That's one important thing that I've learned from footy. Uh, health especially. You know, they teach you how to take care of the body when you're playing and stuff, how to recover from play, playing. Um, the other major thing would also be leadership. It teaches out, footy teaches kids at a young age to you know, take responsibility and stay off things like alcohol and drugs and stuff. So uh, that's pretty, some of the good stuff that I learned from footy. Largest um, youth development program in PNG where you know, we not only um, the development of kids started at a pretty young age. You know, and I've come through the program and I've seen you know, the impact that AFP has done in the lives of, lives of kids in PNG. Some of them went on getting scholarships in Australia. So it's a pretty good thing they're doing. So all the credit goes back to AFP. So I think the, the initiative bring sports, bring AFL, which is not generally a the biggest sport in PNG, but it's pretty do, doing a pretty good job. Um, uh, a future career. At this stage, I some of the short-term goals would be making the World Cup team. Um, the World Cup later on this year, um, making on to the other state teams down in Australia and stuff. So it's some of the short-term goals, but. The long term goals we're looking at, you know, possibly making it to the air. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm in tournament. Sometimes uh, well, sometimes we win, sometimes we so win. So I'm fine best for me to go play. So last year, last last uh, last tournament, we win, win the gold. Then no select me to go to China. So lo, like uh, thanks to me, win belt and lo. Anything we like in Sakaya, so we're doing well. Or so me like the girl of some lower tanks rooms as I like, like some of the students are all on self defense, this lasso. But need him all kind almost come to the gym, so I can continue on the self defense side. So that's it. Austria Oata IC. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Central and Milin Bay Province. And I am currently studying at Jubilee. Uh, when I was in grade 6, I think, yeah. Well, 
à la Cuta Valenciennes. Tout sauf. Um, green in Taekwondo and blue in Tansuro. Nothing but Tansuro and my school only. No, my interest in is seeing maths. Because uh, my dream is to be an engineer. Uh, I encourage the girls to join because this art is like. For now in PMG, it's like, um, like most of, mostly they rape and this type of like abuses. So I like encourage the girls to join and like learn self defense. And we look forward to catching up and profiling more athletes this year. And we'll, you'll never know, you might be one of the athletes that we catch up with this year. We'll head off our few short messages on the other side. We'll have highlights of Southern Nines. And we wish the sporting, uh, the softball fraternity here in Port Mosby the best in their preparations for another season. And we'll head out for our first <laughs> And he says, I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids If you've just joined us, you're watching the first episode of Hotspot for the year 2015. We now take a look at some of the highlights and some of the teams that we caught up with at the Southern Region 9th Tournament. Uh, my name is Hamilton. Uh, my favorite team is Newcastle. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Kate Gidley. Oh, nice. Wow. Uh, who do you think will win? Uh, Newcastle Knights. Ashkata <laughs> Ashkamali. That's a really long name, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what's your favorite team in the NRL? Rabbitos. Now you think we'll win next year? I wish Rabbitos will win next year. Uh, who's your favorite player? Simbazis. Let's see. Control. High five. Um, my name is Lava Brown and I support Broncos. Who's your favorite player? Um, my favorite player, the player that inspires me a lot is Jared Aid. Who do you think will win 2015? Um, I hope Broncos will win that. Uh, name Domi Curie. The team's name is Pom Sharks. Waiting about win now? Yeah. Uh, last I, year, I, how did they go last year? I'm uh, not really. Uh, I wasn't here last year, but. <laughs> Yeah, me just come to support the team. I hope they, they will win, the, win this game for the semi-finals. Uh, you saw NRL too? Uh, not really. Uh, this is uh, Mogana Blues, 2014, uh, participating in Southern Nines tournament. How many boys have uh, We started with 25 boys, uh, but uh, our membership increased to uh, 43 as of today. Team Rongram, Rola uh, Pelagai, all the way from Aroma Coast. Yes. Are these are boys. These are locally boys from the village, straight from the village. So we are trying to. You know, uh, How many boys have you brought? So uh, Fifteen of them. Plus few of us, I think eight of us from Mosby, and then we just. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Μην πλέσε από την Digital Cup, όμω σε μην πλέσε από την Κουρία, όμω σε μόνο πλακάνε. Best team, where. Am out of Ogra Intercity Game, όμω σε Κουρία, out quality game, όμω σε Playlo. Intercity, εμ. Κουρία στο Digital Cup, εμ. Εμ σε Play Best Game, λο. Intercity Digital Cup, εμ. Κουρία. Σποντσάνα. Ογρα Σαντίνε, όμω σε μεν. Κάμλο Way Blame Tun. Ήταν. Ήταν. Lo NRL mi plasa sapo de Brisbane Broncos we MSM Brisbane Broncos na one ah win win Cowboys mi plasa sapo de Cowboys we osem when osem sponsor am stablo Papua New Guinea we Roots ah Trucker Roots Trucker Roots am sponsor et osem lo Baxelo Broncos am buy et sabe osem NRL bid am fire osem PNG bid in NRL lo dis la chole mo sem mi plat Ogara Boys am to osem Ogara Boys am sapo team Cowboys, Brisbane Cowboys, Brisbane Cowboys, Brisbane Cowboys. Lo, ogar a boys. On behalf of all the boys, we are supporting Cowboys. Na Broncos. Okay. Yeah, that's all. A big thank you to all the teams that took time out to chat with us on Hotspot. We'll head out for our final break for tonight. Stay with us. Unfortunately, time has caught up with us tonight. Just a reminder, if you'd like us to feature you on our show or have us train with you on our special segment, Get Involved, please shoot us an email at sports at mtv.com.pg. I know most of you are on Facebook, so please check us out. And if you're in Port Moresby, drop by to Second Floor Garden City and ask for our very awesome sports team and we'll be more than happy to assist you. A big shout out and all the best to the preparations of the Gerhu Bombers and their season. Until next time, play hard, play safe, and we'll catch you right here on Hotspot. Unfortunately, time has caught up with us. Just a reminder, if you'd like us to feature you or have us train with us, have us train with us. All the best to the Gerhu Bombers uh, at their preparations for the season. Until next time, play hard. <laughs> Unfortunately, time has caught up with it. With bleh, bleh. <laughs> I'll put your kick. <laughs>